Professor? Professor? What is it, Binny? I have told you so many times not to disturb me when I am meditating. Oh, yes, of course. I totally forgot. Hello there. Welcome to Science for Juniors. I am scientist Radhe Krishnan, aka SRK, and she is my lab assistant, Binny. Professor, can I ask you something? Go ahead. What were you doing there with your eyes closed and taking deep breaths? Oh, that! I was meditating. Forget that and tell me, what do you know about breathing? Oh, I know this one, sir. Breathing is something which one should never forget to do. Thank God, Binny. You realize that? But what I meant was, what is breathing? Sir, I think breathing is the process through which we exchange gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide with the environment. Well, yes, you have said it right in a basic form. But you know, breathing is a part of a bigger process called respiration which actually breaks. Uh, sir, I am getting confused here. Ah, so let's enter the virtual world. In this module, we will learn about breathing. Respiration is a process by which living beings use oxygen for breaking down food to release carbon dioxide, water and energy. How is respiration brought about? Respiration is brought about by a mechanical body method called breathing. When we breathe or take a breath, we take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. Breathing occurs in two phases, inhalation and exhalation. Inhalation is breathing in oxygen from the air. Exhalation is breathing out carbon dioxide into the air. The inhalation and exhalation are carried out by special body organs called lungs. The lungs expand when we breathe in and contract when we breathe out. Professor, I can't believe that the actual size of our lungs increase when we inhale. How is that possible? I mean, uh, Professor? Oh yes. So, uh, what were you saying, Binny? <sighs> I was wondering how lungs increase in size when we breathe in. Oh, that's simple. Let me show you. See, when I pumped in extra air in this balloon, it increased in its size, right? Right. Similarly, when we breathe in, our lungs expand. Oh, uh, okay. Stop it, Binny. It's fun to burst balloons, sir. That's what balloons are for. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, we can get back to what we were discussing. Let's see how exactly our lungs expand and contract while we inhale and exhale. Inhalation. The muscles between ribs contracts. This causes the ribs to move upwards and outwards, increasing the volume of the chest. The muscles of the diaphragm contract and pull the diaphragm down. The lungs expand. Air is drawn into the expanded lungs. Exhalation. The muscles between the ribs relax. This causes the ribs to move downwards and inwards, decreasing the volume of the chest. The muscles of the diaphragm relax and the diaphragm returns to its domed shape. The lungs return to their original volume. Air is forced out of the lungs to the surroundings. Breathing happens all the time. If we stop breathing even for a short while, our body cells will not be able to carry on respiration and we will die. Breathing is at times used as a metaphor for life itself and often last breath signifies death. 
Here is a table showing the comparison between respiration and breathing. Respiration takes place in every cell, whereas breathing takes place in the lungs. Respiration is a process of release of energy from food, whereas breathing involves gaseous exchange. Respiration uses the oxygen absorbed during breathing, whereas breathing removes the carbon dioxide produced during respiration. Oh, and I always thought breathing and respiration are the same thing. Don't worry, you are not the only one to think that. In fact, these terms are often used interchangeably by many people. Hmm. But now you know, so don't repeat this mistake ever again. Never, sir. <sighs> ah, with that, you have released a lot of carbon dioxide in the surroundings. Yeah, but it is the same carbon dioxide that was there in the air that I inhaled a few seconds back. Oh, you are partly correct. Carbon dioxide is also produced as the end product of respiration. Don't you know exhaled air and inhaled air have different percentages of various gases in them? Inhaled air and exhaled air? You mean to say I am producing more carbon dioxide every time I breathe out and adding into the air? I mean each one of us is doing that? Each one of us is adding onto the carbon dioxide proportion on earth? I am adding to the greenhouse effect happening on the earth every time I breathe out? <sighs> Well, that's completely unavoidable. And I think you are exaggerating. Just relax. Let's take a small trip to virtual world. Oh, okay. The air we breathe is called inhaled air. And the air we breathe out is called exhaled air. These two pi diagrams depict the percentage of gases in inhaled and exhaled air respectively. If we take a close look at both the pi diagrams, you will observe certain interesting facts. First, exhaled air has less oxygen than inhaled air. Why? Exhaled air has less oxygen than inhaled air because oxygen is used up during respiration. What's the next thing we observe? Well exhaled air has more carbon dioxide and water vapor than inhaled air. This is because respiration produces carbon dioxide and water. Lastly, we find that exhaled air is warmer than inhaled air. This is quite interesting, isn't it? The exhaled air becomes warm because of the energy released in the form of heat during respiration. Okay, now I know a lot about breathing. Really? So tell me what you know about breathing rate? Uh, okay, let me count how many times I breathe in a minute. Oh, wait a minute, sir. Do you know that breathing rate is defined as the number of breaths a living being takes per unit time, generally in a minute. It is calculated by counting the number of times a person's chest expands and contracts in one minute. This rate can range from a low of 12 breaths per minute in resting adults to a high of 75 breaths per minute in case of athletes while doing extremely strenuous work. Okay, and uh, what is the normal breathing rate? Normal breathing rate is a person's breathing rate while resting. A newborn has 44 breaths per minute. Infant's breathing rate is 20 to 40. Preschool children have 20 to 30 breaths per minute, while older children have 16 to 25. Adults' breathing rate is 12 to 20 which goes up to 35 to 45 while strenuous exercise. Athletes peak 60 to 70 breaths per minute. 
Now let's go for a quick memory jog of all that we have learned today about breathing and respiration. In this module, you have learned the following. In respiration, living beings use oxygen for breaking down food to release carbon dioxide, water and energy. Breathing occurs in lungs and involves two phases, inhalation and exhalation. Inhalation is movement of the air into the lungs and exhalation is movement of air out of the lungs. Lungs expand during inhalation and contract during exhalation. Respiration takes place in every cell and releases energy whereas breathing takes place in lungs and involves gaseous exchange. The composition of exhaled and inhaled air is different. Exhaled air has less oxygen and more carbon dioxide. It is more warmer than inhaled air. My God! Breathing always appeared such a simple process to me. That's what we call wonders of science, Binny. And it becomes even more wonderful and magnificent when it comes to human body. So friends, it's time for me and Binny to say bye to you guys. But you keep exploring the world of science and I will see you soon again. Ah, I mean we will see you soon.